All right, so this is a little like play around demo and a quick overview of the Hot Bunny modules by Friedrich Audio. Uh, there are four modules in total, the Hot Bunny, the Splitting Hairs, the Marching Hair, and the Carrot Patch, and they do all kinds of weird, interesting stuff. Um, a lot of cool ways of um, creating random or pseudo-random voltages and then messing around with those control voltages in interesting ways. Uh, so the Hot Bunny itself is pretty simple. It is a random uh, voltage generator with four flavors. Uh, stepped random, a smooth random, a uh, gate, and then a slope random, uh, which is controlled the rate by this knob, and then you can control that with an external input. Uh, the splitting hairs module is super cool. It basically allows you to combine and crossfade between two signals um, while also using without, uh, these mutate and form knobs to amplify and wave shape uh, the signals. You can get some really weird and wild distortion and, and uh, wave folding. Uh, and then this shift moves the overall signal up or down within the voltage range and it has these weird um, outputs which are delayed and I'm gonna show this so let's just take the stepped voltage here and we'll take that as an XN this next one as a YN and uh, sorry not delayed um, voltage shifted so you can see here that um, the, the second input is shifted slightly higher, I'm guessing by one volt, um, maybe, maybe slightly higher than that, um, but it's shifted up from the underneath. And you can see here that if it goes above 10 volts, it wraps around. And that's interesting. So we have kind of these eight stacked um, voltages here. And so if you do that, then yeah, you can see it wraps around much more often. So that can create some cool sounds and wave shapes as well. So then we have the Marching Hairs, which has uh, a lot of clock-based stuff. We have a clock generator with a controllable rate, um, delivers four divisions of clock. Uh, we have a clock synced LFO, which I'm going to show here again because this is cool quite interesting. Um, starts off with a sine wave, then sort of transforms into a square wave, so, uh, and that sort of transforms into like a triangle wave, and that transforms into like a little uh, sawtooth or ramp, and then from there it just turns into kind of crazy stuff. So we have like this sort of craggy um, sawtooth, and then we go into more sort of like noisy and random looking uh, LFO territory, and then it just goes crazier and crazier and crazier. And uh, still LFO though, still repeating, so very interesting LFO that. Uh, we then have uh, synced random, uh, so this takes the, uh, the hot bunny outputs, random voltage outputs, and puts them synced to a clock. Uh, and then we have the carrot patch module, which has a quantizer, and you can quantize to two to the n or n plus one, and this can be controlled uh, as well by control voltage. Um, we have a probability uh, section, which, depending on which way you shift this knob, will move the incoming voltage to either the it basically moves it to throughout the spectrum so moving it here will shift everything towards the 10 volt side moving over here will shift everything towards the zero volt side um, and then we have two uh, handy um, sort of five volt subtractors so this will take a zero to ten and turn it to a negative five positive five voltage um, and there are two of these which is handy because all of these modules operate on zero to ten volts and then we have a alternating gate over here and then 
In addition to that, we have a sample and hold, which has this um, three-step analog shift register type thing. So okay, I'm going to show this off. Let's just take the smooth here. And so as you can see, um, the second signal here is one clock step behind the first signal. Uh, and then the third output here uh, is one clock step behind the second or two clock steps behind the first. So again, um, fun analog shift register type thing. Uh, and finally we have just a, um, a good old fashioned uh, slew generator and, or slew limiter I should say, and a nice just free freestanding yellow foil. So that is the overview of the modules. Let's start actually putting some sound in and trying to get some sound out. So I have two of the um, Friedrichs Audio SID oscillators, which I highly recommend. Uh, they are super cool. And we're going to put plop them both into the inputs of these uh, splitting hairs. And so now if we crossfade between the two, we get some interesting sounds. Uh, part of that has to do with the fact that these inputs are uh, shifted from negative five, positive five to zero to 10 volts. And so it basically inverts anything below the zero volt lock and so the waves begin as sort of, sort of
So that is a little demo of the Hot Bunny modules. Um, check them out, definitely. You can get some chaotic and super cool stuff, as I hope I have just demonstrated. And um, yeah, that'll be it for now, I think. Hope you enjoyed. There's my finger.